So you've probably never heard me say this, but you need to stop watching my videos. Well, not this video. You need to watch this video and watch it all the way to the end because YouTube really likes that. But what you need to do is you need to stop watching and start doing. And let me tell you why. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name's Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this one. And like I mentioned, the entire point of my channel is to help you start building your dream project sooner. So the idea is that you start building your own project as soon as possible. And that is the point of my videos. But what happens is many people get stuck in what I like to call tutorial hell, where you just are continually watching tutorials over and over and over again, new tutorial this, new tutorial that, and you're building out all of these really cool tutorial projects, could be big, could be small, doesn't matter, and you feel like you're learning a ton. You're like, wow, I figured out how to do this, I figured out how to do this. But as soon as you start to build your own project, you just go blank. Where do you start? What do you do? You have no idea where to begin. And that's because you're trapped in tutorial hell, where you're continually watching tutorials, following along, and you may be learning quite a lot in doing that, but you never truly learn the important skills of programming. In order to further clarify tutorial hell, let me tell you a little story about my own programming experience. When I first started learning programming, I started in school and I was able to learn there pretty well. But when it came to learning web development, they didn't teach that at my college. So I taught myself web development on the side. And the way that I was able to really quickly and effectively learn web development is because I was building tons and tons of projects all on my own. I just had so many ideas in my head of cool things that I wanted to build and I had no idea how to do it. So I would just start working on building something and every time I hit a problem, I would go to YouTube and I would just search how to solve this problem, how to get past this roadblock. I would look for projects maybe that are similar to what I'm doing and I'd watch those and I would take that knowledge from those tutorials, from those projects, and I would implement it into my own project, which meant I had to really thoroughly understand what was going on in order to apply it to my own specific use case. And from doing that over a bunch of different projects that I was really, really interested in building, I learned a ton about web development. But if we fast forward a couple years, I decided I wanted to try my hand at game development because it looked interesting as well. But I made the critical error of getting stuck in tutorial hell. I watched tutorial after tutorial after tutorial, hours and hours, hundreds of hours of tutorials on game development, but I never really put that knowledge to use. I built a few really small projects that were mostly based on tutorials, and I even made one game myself that was really, really small, took me maybe a day to build, but I never really learned game development at all. And even to this day, I don't really know where to get started with it, and I wouldn't be able to build my own game. I would struggle through it so much, and that's because I got stuck in tutorial hell. I probably spent more time learning game development than I did web development when I first started, but I was miles ahead in web development purely because I built so many projects on my own. So for you out there, what you need to do as your first step to escape tutorial hell is to start expanding upon the projects that you build in tutorials. Let's say that you watch a tutorial of mine on how to build a user authentication system. Now that's great and that's a really good skill to have, but on top of that, you should build something else. Maybe build in a simple front end application to interact with this user authentication system. Build in some user permissions maybe. Just add a little bit onto the tutorial. It doesn't have to be a lot. And you can even use 95, 100% of the code from the tutorial as long as you're building upon it, making it your own, and adding your own twist to it. Another way to use tutorials is to build your own project and then when you get stuck, like I did, look for a tutorial on the topic. So if you're building your own website and you need user authentication, you can look up my user authentication tutorial and then instead of just copying and pasting that into your code, you actually need to understand how my code works in order to make it work with your own code. Because most likely you can't just copy and paste it in place. You're going to have to make some tweaks and changes, especially to make it work perfectly in your own project. So that, in my opinion, is the second way to improve your programming skills is to take your own project and only look up tutorials when you get stuck and then use those tutorials in your project by building them out in a custom way that fits perfectly for your project. Just by building out your own individual project 
is going to put you light years ahead of just watching a bunch of tutorials. And that's why, in my channel, I've personally structured it in a way that most of my videos are very short, to the point, and they're just the essence of the problem I'm trying to solve. I don't have very many large, big projects on my channel because I think it's more important for you to get stuck in your own project, figure out what the problem is you need to find, find my video on the solution, and then take my solution and implement it into your project. That's why I have so many videos on concepts and topics, and not nearly as many on large overarching projects. Now you may be saying this sounds great, but where exactly do you get started? What projects do you build? And if you don't already have a project in mind, it can be difficult to think of a good project. So I've already created a video with the top five projects to get a job. I'll link it up here in the cards and down in the description below. And you can actually take this video and find one of the projects in there that resonates best with you. And these projects are all popular enough that you can find tutorials online that'll be similar to what you want to build, which will allow you to not get stuck because you can immediately, once you get stuck, you can search for a tutorial on this project and it'll walk you through the part that you're stuck in. These projects are also readily available on GitHub and other code platforms, so you can look at the raw source code of someone's project to see exactly how they solve the problem, which is great for when you really get stuck hard and you just want to look at how someone else did it. I'm sure for most of you out there though, you have a single project in mind that you want to work on. And if that's the case, the easiest way to get started is to distill your project down to the smallest portion of what it is. Let's say you have a grand idea for some really cool application that's going to allow you to book concert tickets and movie tickets and all these other different things inside of it. What you need to do is distill it down to what the simplest interaction is. Maybe in your case, the simplest interaction is choosing a seat somewhere and buying a ticket for it. So build that out as your starting point, and from there you can expand onto doing all of these other really complex things inside of your application. But understanding what the smallest, most important part of your project is gives you a great starting point to know where to start writing code, and then when you get stuck, you can go outward, look for tutorials on the topics that you're stuck on. And with that said, I want you to go out there and start building your own project. And if you enjoyed this video, you can check out some of my other discussion-based videos like this one, linked over here, and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.